guys? You didn't think we were going to let a little thing like school being closed get in the way of drawing club, did you? No! Wednesday lunchtimes are for drawing. So, you asked me last time if we could do faces, spend a little bit longer working on faces. And absolutely we can, that's what we're going to focus on today. Now, I live alone, so in these isolation times, the only face I have to look at is my own. So I'm going to do a fairly um, self-obsessed drawing of me. Right, you know how I start when I draw faces. I start with the hair because that gives us a really nice way of framing the face. So mine kind of comes across the front here, it's not quite symmetrical, and down like that, that's this part of my hair. I won't worry about the bottom just yet, I'll come back for that. And then actually, it's the side of my face that you can see around there, so I'll fill in the side of my face, which is it's kind of long, I've got quite a long face, generally speaking. And then the hair comes kind of out of the parting, down, and just kind of like give it a jaggy bit at the bottom because nobody's hair finishes in a perfectly straight line. From this side, because my parting isn't in the middle, it has to go all the way around. And again, we give it some jaggy bits at the bottom because nobody's hair finishes in that straight line. But you're starting to see that it looks like I've got this bit tucked under that bit. And you can see, not much of this side of my face because my hair covers it, but when it's tucked behind my ear, you can see this side. So, having done that and got the basic shape of my face, I'm then going to carry on from where my hair comes out from under my chin and bring it round and join it up with that line that I started there. I'm looking at the camera a lot because I can see my face on it. Don't try and draw yourself without a mirror, you just have to be guessing. So at the moment I'm using the camera as my mirror to help me. When we've got the outline of our face, we can start thinking about the features. Personally, I like to start with eyebrows because they're a nice strong feature and they've got clear outlines. Most of the features on our face don't have clear outlines, but eyebrows kind of do. So I'm going to start there. Now, they don't come up here, they're not near the top of your face. They're kind of just above the middle of your face. Or mine are anyway. You can look at yourself and find out. Once you've done that, that gives you a good guideline for putting in your eyes. Now, my eyes, I don't know if yours are the same, do this thing where they're kind of like little half semicircles at the bottom, which makes them really tiny. So when I draw my eyes, I like to put in the top lid, and then make the bottom lid go that way. And the same again on the other side. I don't worry too much about the edges of my eyes because it's not the most important thing. I'm going to give you a trick for putting in the irises. Start by drawing a small circle. This is going to be the bit that light reflects off. Then draw the pupil, the really black bit in the middle of your eye, so it overlaps the circle, but don't colour in the bit that came in the circle. Then you draw the iris, the colourful bit that goes around the edge. And you might notice you can't actually see your whole iris. Some of it is hidden behind your eyelids. So don't draw a whole circle. Draw a circle that's just a little bit too big and keep it inside those lines. Do exactly the same on the other side. A little circle. Draw the pupil so it overlaps. And then the iris. So you can't quite see all of it. And then, I might give myself some nice eyelashes. And even connect up some of those edges of the eye. But I don't worry too much if it doesn't match. When you're happy with your eyes, it's time to think about the mouth. Now I know some of you might be thinking, nose, don't worry about nose, I'm going to come down the face and think about the mouth. Again, my mouth is here. It's not right at the bottom of my face. It's not in the middle of my face, it's kind of, on my picture, going to be about here. And there's a few different ways you can do this, and I'll show you a couple of options. You can give yourself a sort of cheeky sideways smile, like this. 
which you might do like that, which looks quite cute, but it's quite basic. Or you can give yourself sort of a big, um, glamorous mouth with a Cupid's bow. Sorry. It comes down like that, which is cartoony and much bigger than it would be in real life. Or you can try and keep it fairly realistic. Look at your, the edges of your mouth. They are underneath the middle of your eyes. So that's the space we're going to try and fill. I start by drawing my top lip, which is kind of... that shape. And then I draw in my bottom lip. And then I give an idea of the area between them, which is actually a much straighter line than you might think. And I don't worry that there aren't loads of edges on this, that it doesn't all join up. Because actually, that's not what mouths are like in real life. Now, I don't know about you, but I've got a very round little chin. And you can always see that almost more defined than my mouth. So I just add that into just a little line there that shows my chin. Which brings us to one of the trickiest things about drawing faces, and that is the nose. Now, the reason the nose is so difficult is that it's the same colour as your skin. It's skin colour. And so there aren't really any edges to it. And so when you try and draw a nose sort of like this, that's all edges, it just looks very strange. So we're not going to do that. Because of that lack of edges, my trick to drawing noses is less is more. And I like to start with the nostrils. Now, my tip here don't make them too big, you'll look like a pig. But they are just above your lips. And I like to do just two little dashes. One, two. Just to tell people that they're there, because they are quite hard lines. The next one that I like to think about is following the eyebrow to the edge of the nose and down. And I'm just going to pick one, because like I say, less is more. Take that eyebrow and I follow that line down to where the end of the nose would be. And it isn't like a, an L shape. You've not got a pointy nose. You're not a witch. It's got a rounded bit at the end of it. Some noses might be pointier than others. Nobody's looks like this. And if you've got your head sort of tilted, quite often that's all you'll see. But if you've got your face full on, like I'm doing, it's not like you can't see the other side of the nose. So I look and I try and find the most standing out bit, which for me is this shadow here, that's what you're looking for, shadows. And I would just put that in as well, just a tiny, tiny little line. Now, I'm looking at my face and it's nearly done. It just needs a few details. I have quite deep lines here that come from laughing a lot, so I might put those in. I also have quite deep lines here where my eyelids are, so I might put those in. You might be drawing somebody who's a little bit old and wrinkly. You might want to put those wrinkles in. I've actually got a few on my forehead. So I'll put some of those in. And you might want to add some detail, like some more lines, in your hair. But generally, I think that's us done. If you've joined in with this, please, please tweet me a picture or tweet your teachers a picture and I know they'll make sure it gets to me. Thank you.